A question from somebody that called into the practice regarding ozone, the herpes virus, and antibodies. The question is, if we treat patients with our antiviral package and protocol and we see the antibody titers go down to a count of zero or normal, how, how does one interpret those results? And here's the question, is this representation that the virus possibly went into hiding or is it a good sign that there are no antibody titers? So in summary, I will describe some of the things I've noticed in, I'd say we've treated about 20 patients at this point with our antiviral package with uh, excellent results. And the findings are somewhat disparate, and I'll tell you why and what that means. When normally the virus is inside the patient lying dormant, it'll have cycles of outbreaks and then the, the antibody titers uh, go up periodically. What I find is since the ozone is destroying the virus, that destructive process causes antibody titers to skyrocket. Now inside the body, there's obviously a memory process of the uh, lymphocytes producing antibodies. So you might expect the titers to be high for out to six months. I have seen patients already have high titers, but their symptoms dissolved and disappeared completely. Physical outbreaks, neural tingling and types of feelings like that have disappeared, but their titers are very high. In those patients, I said, let's recheck your titers down the road, but they're very happy so far because their symptoms have gone away. Can I tell them they're cured? Very hard to say. It's a very vague, hard to describe process, but at the least their symptoms and their um, symptoms and subjective feelings change. Now, I've had other patients who were having outbreaks who had positive titers and we saw their titers go to zero. The reason I'm confident that the virus has not gone dormant or hid is because in those same patients, the outbreaks have stopped. And secondly, ozone is in all the red cells. It's permeating all the capillaries. It's, it's a powerful protocol, our antiviral package, because we use immune bank balancing agents. We use certain supplements. I'll use direct injections of ozone right into areas that we think the virus could be hiding, if you will. And these are all based on uh, prior techniques that were used in Cuba, in Austria, in New Zealand. In Thailand and even the United States. So I'm consolidating a lot of different techniques and standing on the shoulders of other professionals who have used these techniques and I'm finding that their findings are consistent with mine. I can eradicate the virus, I can improve titers, I can improve symptoms, but which is the case? It varies from patient to patient. I hope that helps for the person that asked this question and for anyone watching this. We're always here for further questions. We love sharing our knowledge and findings in a forthright manner. Thank you.